love when you bust some wheelies out here. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I've been on YouTube for nearly 10 years, riding all kinds of different motorcycles, having a good time out here, you know, especially on this YZ 450FX custom supermoto. Amazing. I tell you guys, there's something about a gas motor that you cannot replicate and you can't really replace it because it, it just feels so good. I, it's, I can't even express how I feel when I'm ripping the throttle on any of my gas motorcycles. But you know what? The future of motorcycles is really sad. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. By the way, I did a full build series on this 2019 YZ 450FX Custom Supermoto. I'll include the link in the description and comment section of this video. But I'll tell you guys, it doesn't matter what motorcycle you ride. You got to make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe and you want to get some awesome gear like mine. I have links to it like my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an auto tent shield, my motor vlog camera, airbag vest to help keep me safe. I never leave home without it. My C armor jacket that flows a lot of air and it's cool for summer. Shorty gloves. Links all in the description and comment section of this video. You know, I really appreciate my time out here on these these gas motorcycles man i tell you i know some of you guys will swear by the electric motorcycle but i'll tell you it's nothing like the vibration and, and the feel you get on these these gas motorcycles man but the sad the sad thing is is that this will probably be coming to an end here man um Unfortunately, they, they're, they're so focused on emissions, which I think motorcycle emissions, uh, motorcycles should be exempt because they make, a, make up a very small population out of all the vehicles in the world. Obviously, cars and trucks are the number one, uh, you know, type of vehicle out here in the, in, the, in the millions. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand why they focus on motorcycles at all. It's BS, man. And, uh, but we're all going to be forced, the sad truth is, we're probably going to all be forced to ride an electric motorcycle. I tell you guys, you can still bust wheelies. Like this. <laughs> but you ain't going to get that visceral vibration feel that you get on these gas motorcycles. Hey, that looks like an abandoned house. That looks cool. I had to go do some exploration up in here. No, I ain't gonna do no trespass. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, even though that I'm considering getting that new electric uh, dirt bike called the Suron, which you can make street legal, by the way, but a lot of you guys comment, it looks like an electric uh, uh, mountain bike because it's so thin. You can put bigger bigger tire, bigger wheels on there, though. Um, but I'm, I just want it for my, my 20 acre country estate down south. Uh, you know, I'm surrounded by woods down there, and I got trails and everything down there. And I could just, you know, my, my woods are not super dense, so I could actually rip on that little thin bike all through the woods, man, raw dogging it. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I can't see myself getting one for the streets. I just can't. Yeah, baby. Feels good when you bust some wheelers out here. <laughs> Woo! Feels good. And it feels good when you feel that that little vibration up in the engine. And, and this bike doesn't have a ton of vibration, you know, like some of the, the dirt bikes out there. This is actually doesn't put your hand to sleep or anything, surprisingly. It's got rubber mounts in the in the bars and everything. You don't feel ton a lot of vibration in the pegs and stuff. But you feel enough little vibration and to see everything that it, it's a feeling that you can't replicate with an electric bike you just can't you know what i'm saying and uh so i i can't see myself you know the day that we have to switch over to only electric motorcycles by law say in like five years or something i can't i, I think i i don't know man i might have to just go to off-road riding only yeah 
here, baby. We out here. We out here. Yeah. <laughs> See, look at that hool again. We out here acting a fool out here. We don't need his kind around here. Acting a fool out here in our neighborhood, bringing off values of our homes down. That ain't right. Take your, your hooligan self up on out of here. Psycho cruiser. Go ride somewhere else. You are not welcome around these parts. Yeah. We out here, baby. We out here. <laughs> I ain't supposed to be doing this either, man. But you know, but you know me, I gotta be a little hooligan out here. You know what I'm saying? I tell you guys, one thing about a supermoto, it has regressed my my maturity. <laughs> I'm immature now, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm more immature than ever. You think, yo, know, and if you look early on in my channel, I'm like more, even though I'm acting a fool back then too. But on this, boy, I'm a straight up fool out here. Out here trespass and riding on grass. Now I don't trespass that much man. Just a just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo! Yeah baby. We out here. Yeah. Yeah, we out here in the birds, baby. Ain't nobody around. We can bust all kinds of willies out here. Have a good old time out here. Yeah, I'm telling you, supermoto life is the life. The only life, baby. Yeah. Woo! You don't even have to go fast on this to enjoy a supermoto, man. That's why I highly recommend supermotos, because it's got all that low-end grunt torque, man. That's why people love Harley Davidsons. And that is why. My next motorcycle, I think I'm gonna have to get that new Harley Davidson Sports the S, baby. It's looking good. Yeah. It may not be 100% perfect, but I tell you, Harley Davidson has made some strides in making a motorcycle that we want. I'm telling you, it's not too expensive either, man. Only 15,000 though, but with mid pegs, you gotta add another 700 up on it. Yeah, baby, we out here. We out here. Yeah. We out here on my supermoto, baby. Having a good old time out here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby. Oh, I hope that dog don't attack me, man. Dogs don't like motorcycles. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I had a dog. He hated motorcycles. Before I rode a motorcycle, he hated motorcycles and bicycles because his kid used to antagonize him man throw rocks at him and stuff and every time he saw a motorcycle or bicycle boy he'd want to attack him man i had a little miniature pincher back in the day named scooby scooby doo yeah yeah baby yeah yeah i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and have that add that harley davidson though man um that's sick I think that would be an absolute sick addition. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below, guys. Tell me, guys, what you think about it. You think I should add that Harley Davidson Sports to S and share it with you guys? You know, see if it's a real deal. Now, one thing is, is that it's a first-year bike. And, you know, you can end up having problems with it and stuff, uh, which, you, which I probably will. But I'll share the full experience with you guys. Just like I did the Ducati XDVL S that I own, man. You know, that was... A, a fairly new bike when I bought it and it was a beast that was an awesome bike man beast absolute beast amazing man and uh, the only thing is I didn't trust it and I was too cheap for it <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm too cheap for a uh, Ducati man you know what I'm saying you, you, you break a part on there out of warranty boy Woo! it's gonna run you probably like three thousand dollars or something crazy man but anyways guys like i said you know hit thumbs up it really helps my channel i really appreciate it when you do don't forget to subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel make sure to check out my other channel bug out moto which all my van stuff so until next time i catch you guys later deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Book Out Moto.